Hi friends, we will understand about SQL or we will start a series on structured query language, how we will use it. So to, for that we will be, first basically we will understand what a database is and why you use a database and what are the database tables, rows, columns and you will try to design a simple table. So this is for the beginners actually, if you are an advanced user of database you can skip this. So why we should use a database why not what is that we cannot do it in a file system and we will we have to move to a database see you if i have a something data like 10 records of a student i want to just store the name and address and all i can use a flat file also or a comma separator value file csv file or any simple text file also will do where i can just search find out the next word and find out what's the address of a student and all these things but when i have a lot of data and i need frequently uh, accessing it, uh, updating the data and also I want to have a level of security means who can update it, who can um, delete the records or who can add new records or some people can only view the records. So these sort of permission labels also I required. I need a customized one or that's where, where our database will be using. If it is just at 5 or 10 records, simple t flat file or a text file also can be used. But in most of the cases we need a bigger data. So for then we have to understand what is a structure in it. We call it a structured database. Then what is a structure? Let's understand a blank frame or a template or a blank form we give it to a student at the time of admission. Say we give him a, a paper to fill their name, address, phone number, all these things, which will be storing it in a structured framework because the student is like expected to fill the data, phone number under phone number column, like that. Even a customer fills its raw data, he brings the raw data, fill it in a structured frame or a template, then that became a collection of structured data. So we call a table, a collection of structured data which uses a template in the background. We'll understand what this template is. Now like a customer master or a product master, this is a collection of a structured data, we call it a table. Now let's think how a table structure is. A, without a data, say a table structure is without any data, say column names are there. Here the name column should have a specific data type like names, a class should have specific class, ID should have 1, 2, 3 incremental and a, suppose a date of birth I am storing then it should be a date column storing date of birth. So like that a specific data type is stored in a particular column. Similarly rows are identified when the combination of a record is given. So it's it, a row will have a ID, name, class, mark and its gender, phone number everything combinedly we will call it a row or a record. So then the question comes what is a database now when we have such structured data in structured data we call it as a table now all this structured information when we gather together multiple tables we call it as a database or a very raw language we'll say it as it's a collection of tables now let's just see how we'll create a table basically say if you just forget about the id part say name class gender phone number and date of birth of a student say we keep it in a student master or a student table say the student is appearing in multiple exams so exam 1 then he got 10 mark exam 2 he got 9 mark exam 3 he got 12 mark whatever it is so every time you need not store the name class gender phone number what you will do we will create another table where you will store the exams and the marks which exam how much mark because that is what the new new things will be adding up now to link these two we must have a unique id of the student similarly that will be linking to the exam table so the id field will both places will maintain to link it up which student which exam what is its mark so that is how a set of tables will create and store it in a database so that is why we will basically will say a database is a collection of these tables or a structured informations in a tabular format now with this basic knowledge, we will move towards our structured query language or SQL where we will apply our commands to various tables and retrieve the data initially. Subsequently, we will go for update, delete and say deleting table, creating table, all those will go. I will request you, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you will be notified as and when we add new new tutorials. We frequently do that. Thank you for watching and please do watch our first on select query on the next tutorial.